we're talking with Niall Horan here. Nice yes. to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you, son. I know, I know. Yeah. I know. It's cool. good to be back. Cool. Caitlin, Jamar. Yeah. Hello, Niall. hello, hello. Nice to meet you, not just the name of the single. Yes, I right. know, I know. I've been hearing this everywhere. I go. <laughs> I know. But no, no, in all honesty, Caitlin and I were talking, and we love the single. Yeah. We love the music. I want to tell you, who's your bass player, man? The ba- he was getting it in on that. with the boom, 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 I know. Boom, it's boom, actually, on yeah. this one, it was the guy who produced it, Julian Benetta. His oh, Julian played yeah, the bass on that? Yeah, he plays. His first instruments they ever learned were bass and drums. So he played all of that. I played the guitar riff. And then within 10 minutes, we had a full ba- like lower end track because he's an <laughs> unbelievable drummer. And mean. Unbelievable mean bass player. bass. In a song like that, you need to have a, a moving bass line to get technical here. To keep, yeah, yeah. Keep it moving. So he was playing some slappy stuff. Very nice. It's a funky brother right yep. there. Yeah, <laughs> you sure. might have already heard this a hundred times. The first time I heard it, I was like, this is very Arctic Monkeys to me. Mm, I'll and take that. Yeah, it sounded like just like that to me. Is that going to be kind of the sound of the new album? Are you thinking a lot more rock than Flickr? Yeah, it's definitely rockier than Flickr. It's not all as crazy as Nice to Meet You. I think yeah. Nice to Meet You is a bit, oop. Um, <laughs> But that's a good thing. I uh, haven't released a song in a couple of years, so I thought I'd come back with a bit of a bang. Uh, sure. Uh, I think I've done it. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, the Arctic Monkeys thing, is, I've heard it a bit, yeah, and I'll, I'll take it because they're, I grew up on them. Right. Yeah. There's right. a lot of th- bands around that time in the UK that were huge, like the Kooks and the Arctic Monkeys and Kasabian and things like that. Mm-hmm. And kind of 70s, 80s, 90s was where, is where I would take a lot of my influence from and I'm s- I p- assume that's where they got their influence from too. It's so unfair to pop stars and excuse me for using mm. that term but I no. think they, they try it's to... It's a dirty word. I know. It's, I, know I love pop. I, I, I'm a defender of pop music. Oh yeah, me too. Because I think pop music is the music that hits the masses. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But it's unfair to pop stars because they, they try to make it seem like you don't make real music and yeah. l- legitimately on this song I've heard the live performances the covers and the song itself you're a sick singer. <laughs> Thank you. And you're definitely an awesome <laughs> instrumentalist. So like I think with this project you get to showcase that a little more you know your vocal range and also your your talent mu- musically yeah i think that's what i wanted to do as a solo artist in general i think you know when you when you're in a, a, a boy band per se you know i don't think you get enough credit for your actual musical talent yeah uh, and then that's what i was trying to get across you know hence the fact why my first album was kind of singer songwriter mm-hmm. and got to show off that side of me and this time you know, I'm, I'm I'm an okay guitar player, and I, I can I, my favorite types of music are rock. So I kind of I tried to rock it up a little bit, and you'll hear that co- across the course of the album. But it's just a good opportunity for me to showcase the 26 years of learning guitar and singing. And I stuff actually like that. felt some U2 vibes in there. I don't good. Know. I'll yeah. Take, yeah, I haven't heard that, too? and I'll take. That. You haven't yeah. heard that? No, I felt a little Bono vibe in there. Good. I'll take <laughs> all of this. This is great. <laughs> so, so when you when you come out with new music, when you're getting ready, to, do you run it by the guys, the boys, and yeah. and, 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 and get their opinions, or who 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 are kind of your your people that you say, hey, check this out. I do. I tend to do a lot of the time people that don't work in music but listen to music. Ah, like I know, like my friends back in uh, back home. When they're driving to work, when they're going to work, or they're on a train, or they're on the tube, or whatever, they can mm. stick their headphones in and listen to what's on, you know, the, the charts or the radio or whatever. And I tend, I tend to get a lot of opinions from that because they're the people at the end of the day who's going to listen to it. You right. know. Um. To be fair, I know that we're in Canada, so it helps. But I do m- myself and Sean Mendez, we p- we do pass songs between us a lot we, we know we noticed on, you. Yeah. <laughs> on your ig we, we were, were creeping like, hey. your ig yeah. like a, like a, like a, like a an almost ex-girlfriend <laughs> <laughs> and we saw that you and sean mendes definitely have a, a, a rapport like definitely oh yeah, a friendship, yeah yeah no i've n- known sean since he f- basically first started and we just became good friends there's a there's like an irish canadian australian thing that happens where we all tend to kind of get get along we're similar so types who's of people the australian yeah. No, but you know, like just in general, we look at as a, as nations, yeah. we're similar types of people. We're kind of quite chilled out, yeah, kind of very happy, yeah, smiley. And this was my question to him because I'm I'm new here from America, as we've met in Chicago. Yep, but like, what are your impressions of Canadians? Like, what what what, what, what is when you think in in Ireland? What, mm. When people hear Canada, what do they think about? What's the first thing they think about in Canadians? We know in America they think of like big fights and like reality <laughs> shows, but like, what do you think about Canadians? <laughs> I, I, well, I mean, the first thing that comes to, I mean, all the stereotypes, they're ca- it's kind of like Ireland in that sense. Okay. You know, like, like the Australians put shrimp on the barbie and like Irish people drink Guinness. Right. Like Canadians play hockey and eat poutine and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, and so go to go to Tim Hortons and stuff like Nailed that. It. I mean, Badly accurate. They're all, they're, they're, they're all pretty accurate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I just love it here. I just, I love, like even my friends in LA are, yeah, they're all seem to be, 
Canadian of some in yeah. some shape. I just like I don't know. There's just just like a natural it's thing. It's a soft landing to North America. I think so. Canada is like the, the easy <laughs> transition into North American life. <laughs> yeah, really that's is. great. I love it. Uh, the single, okay, so the single and the video seem to be about let's say maybe a 24 hour romantic connection. <laughs> that's what it looks like. Yeah. 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 Is yeah. it based on a real person? Like lyrically, when you're writing it, is it based on a real thing or? Yeah, yeah, kind of like I mean, it's 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 a song, so you try and elaborate it, you know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. and and obviously then the video elaborate even more to make it look a little bit sexier wow. Um, wow. Okay. I mean it's kind of yeah I guess so like it's, I mean, it's not overthought but it's definitely based on like a true story um, not so much a 24 hour one okay. it was it lasted a bit longer than that <laughs> okay. but again it's based on a true story like any good film yeah. do you let the uh, the muse know that hey there's a song coming out just stand by this is loosely based on what happened no nah, I mean if it was if the, if the lyrics were completely accurate right. you know lyric by lyric then I probably would ha- have to say something just out of you know, but if it's kind of just a bit of fun and a bit cheeky, you're then you're not calling uh, out names like Drake, so you can't right? Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, oh, like no, no, no. there's no Kiki like <laughs> in your DMs. Going, what the hell? No, do you ever get a DM from someone going, "Was that about me?" <laughs> <laughs> never, never, thank never. God. Okay. No, no, that's no, cool. No, no. Well, listen, w- no album title yet. Um, are you? Throwing around some titles in your head, or do you have something? Yeah, I've got. I've. Uh, we haven't even booked a tour yet. I've already know what that's called. I know what the album's called. Really? Uh, yeah, I, I'll be coming probably with an album. I'm gonna try and get some more music out before Christmas, and then maybe another one in the new year. An album maybe in f- February, March time okay. if I can. And um, yeah, I, I mean, I'm just excited to be back and having conversations about releasing music because. Yeah. As you know, it's been a while since I released yeah. something, so it's, it's good to be back. Yeah, too, man. exactly. So I'm guessing the album title is one of the Easter eggs in the video. Maybe is it? Is it somewhere in there? Maybe, maybe. Don't know. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Couldn't cool. tell you. All right, well, <laughs> you don't have to. We'll search it out. But nice to meet you. We agree. Yeah. Smash. We love it. Love we enjoy it. it. Thank we're you. We're very proud of uh, the work so far, and we're looking more forward to more. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice <laughs> to meet you. Now, Horan in the house with Chum.